Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Greg Furman and this is the Vantage Point AI Market Outlook for the week of November the 22nd, 2021. Now, to get started this week, we're going to begin where we always do with that very important US dollar index. But first, let's look at the indicators we're going to be using in this week's presentation. We're going to be using the 44 week look back to get our overall yearly range. We're using bars, not candles. We've got our long term crossover, which I'll explain in a minute without the black line, just the blue line. We have our predicted short, medium and long term differences with our neural index and of course the very important point in time. Now we'll also be using the triple AMA cross using our T cross long only to give, a, give ourselves a pivot level. And of course, the very, very popular verified support and resistance zones. So when we look at this past week on the dollar, once again, we're looking for further dollar strength from this past week. When we look at, we can see our, we've held above our weekly opening price at 95.12 for the entire week. Now, what I'm seeing here is a little bit troublesome for further dollar strength. Now, in most cases, the dollar is weaker around the 20th of the month. The dollar predominantly on a seasonality basis doesn't do that, doesn't fare that well in the month of December. So when we look at this, we've got what appears to be a short term top in place at 96.24. We've come back up and tested that level again on Friday. However, only after comments from one of the Fed members about, you know, ending QE sooner, hiking rates sooner, all these things. So the dollar got a boost from that. But what we're looking at here is this lighter colored blue line is our long predicted. Now our T cross long, another term for it, is the long term crossover without the black line, just the blue line. And our T cross long, our ma major level, our, our pivot level for support or resistance, in this particular case support, we can see that as long as the market is holding above both of these two lines, we're bullish. Now to finish the week, the dollar has finished bullish. But again, you're coming into a holiday short week next week. The first level of support that we want to watch is the T cross long at 94.89. That's followed up by the long predicted at 95.59. So again, this is an outlook, not a recap of something that already happened. The strategies presented here are things that you can replicate with your vantage point software and apply wash, rinse and repeat daily by simply doing the same analysis each day in the evening when your software is updated. So for now, when we look at our most recent MA diff cross, that is to the downside. I believe that the dollar had pretty much tapped out at about 96.24. And my further view is that the further we move away from the T cross long or the long predicted, either one of them, but mainly the T cross long, the further we move away from that, you're going to have a mean revision kick in here where it's going to try and come back to it. I believe that that could be as early as next week. Now, when we look at gold prices, again, we'll do the same analysis here. You can see that using the point in time as the weekly opening price, gold has remained below that weekly opening price, or at least closing below it, 80% of the time last week. The comments from the one Fed member were a little too much for gold to digest on Friday, and it started to sell off more aggressively. Now, what we want to look for in our software is predicting these moves before, not after they happen. So when we look at this, our MA diff cross, it crossed to the downside at the beginning of the week, as per last week's presentation, that I did not anticipate gold would clear the, the yearly opening price, which we identified around 18, between 1885 and the 1904 level. So gold struggling up here. We get our MA diff cross. This is our medium term crossover, the strength of the medium term crossover versus the strength of the long term crossover. That is turned to the downside and immediately gold started pushing lower. But we basically it's warning us that we don't have any buyers. Now we've we've closed on Friday below the long predicted at 1852, but we must still push down below 1831 to confirm further downside on gold because again going into the month of December predominantly the dollar has not fared very well so keep a very close eye on 1831 I suspect we will test this on Monday but the question is will we go below that on Tuesday and Wednesday but again you can repeat these uh, these methodologies each day with your vantage point software just by identifying these key levels now when we look at stocks Stocks again holding firm, basically hugging the T cross long at 46.95 for the better part of the week. 
We remain long while above, while above 4651, our T cross long. Our predicted differences are coming off the zero line and the pink line is moving back towards the blue line, which is suggesting that equities are getting ready to move higher. I would anticipate further volatility to begin the week, but again, focus your trading Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, and be very, very cautious on Monday because very often it's not a true price. We see a true price once all markets are in after 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time on Monday morning, then we start to see the real price going into Tuesday and Wednesday in higher volume. But again, we want to identify our long predicted 46.95, T cross long 46.51, and we're getting a, a warning sign here that equities, after probably one more down day, are getting ready to turn back to the upside. Now, when we look at Bitcoin trading over the course of the weekend, we've come down. Holding above a, a, a major support low at 54,317, we worked on this in the Vantage Point live training room this past week, that we would hold longs up into, as long as we're staying above this particular level. This is perfectly normal for Bitcoin to, to take a bit of a pullback. Now, our upside pivot now because we've closed below our long predicted at uh, 60,068 and our T-cross long at 61,800. So these are our two levels that we have to overtake. I would anticipate that we are going to try or possibly will overtake these levels by Tuesday or Wednesday of this coming week. We're looking for about a dollar strength, even if it's just corrective that will push Bitcoin back to the upside. So to begin the week, we can see that that long predicted at 60,068, that's the key level we wanna watch. If we look at our predicted differences, the pink line is flattening out here. So it, when it's gone flat like that or going flat like this, it's a warning sign that we're running out of sellers here, that a, that a long trade is coming. Once again, if we look at our T-cross long from this previous week or about a week and a half ago, you can see that when we hit into this level around 68,900, our MA diff crossed to the downside and down we went. So the same thing that would have us have some people short this would be the same signal that would have us go long on this. So we're looking for the neural index to turn green and the pink line to cross the blue line. And then of course, overtake these two very powerful pivot areas the T cross long and the long predicted. Now, oil prices again uh, fluctuating wildly throughout the week, but predominantly down to start the week. Now, if we look at our, our, our weekly opening price, our point in time set to the weekly opening price, that plays a major factor in whether we go long or short. So we're closing below the long predicted and the T cross long. Each day we come back up to this level and hit it. So to begin the week, those two main levels that we're watching are the long predicted, the first one at 78.31, and our T cross long at 79.57. We're short while below these levels. If we break above these levels, then again, oil will continue its upside move. Uh, as COVID fears start to raise their head again, my optimism on that remains heavily guarded at this time. Our MA diff cross, as you can see, this up, this free update in our Vantage Point software, this little arrow here, the pink line crossing the blue line, that took place on Thursday, which led to a, a bigger move to the downside on Friday, coming right back up to that long predicted or the T cross long, and then a very dramatic sell-off going into the close. So again, we do have very strong verified support here at the low of 73.29. So watch this level very closely to begin the week because if equities turn higher, more specifically the S&P 500, there's a strong possibility that the oil contracts will follow. Now, as we look at our first main Forex pair for next week, the Euro-US currency pair, uh, a very, very tough week for the Euro. But again, as forecasting in last week's weekly outlook, we, we assess that we are not, there are no buyers on, on the Euro up here. And finally, the Euro succumbed to that dollar strength and down it went. However, we do appear, appears at first glance to potentially have a, a short-term bottom in place around 112.50. But again, we're looking for that MA diff cross, both of them to start turning back to the upside. So the seasonality of the weakness in the US dollar in December, that could indirectly help the euro but next week we're going to have a lot more fed speaking next week so any any kind of hawkish tone coming out of additional members 
of the FOMC is going to put potentially additional downward pressure on this particular pair. So, so again, these are very repetitive strategies that I'm discussing here. We've got our long predicted at one at 113.59 and our T cross long, that's coming in at 114.66. So your hot zone for shorts are gonna be between 113.59 and 114.66, provided that is supported by the additional vantage point indicators. We'll also, again, to start the week, we'll, we will set our, our weekly opening price on Friday's close. That price is 112.81. So 112.81 will be your weekly opening price going into Monday's trade. If we continue to hold above 112.81, then that will tell us we've got a short-term bottom in place and the euro is getting ready to correct higher. Not necessarily a, a new trend here, guys, but a corrective move at the very least back between somewhere between 113.59, I suspect, and 114.66. Now, if the dollar index does start to sell off, then U.S. Swiss franc would also potentially have a short term top in place here, too. But again, the, the Swiss franc is a funny currency. It's co very highly correlated to two things, the gold contracts and the S&P 500. So if gold continues to move lower and equities go higher, meaning the S&P 500, that will weaken the Swiss franc. Even if the dollar, the US dollar is, is not holding its gains, the Swiss franc is unlikely to hold its gains either. So we'll be watching the T-cross long, the same deal here, guys, very repetitive strategies using these pivot levels going in to trading, because again, this is an outlook here, not a, a recap. We're looking at next week's trading, our key level, 92.53, the long predicted, followed by 92.12, the T-cross the long, very important pivot levels. If we're above that, we're long. If, we're, if we break down and close below it, we're short, but for now, there is a very ominous signal right there. Our MA diff cross is warning us that potential dollar weakness is, is coming. So again, this is, for now, it's simply a corrective move. It's not a new trend until such time we break down below the T-cross long at 92.12. Now, with the British pound, again, it's struggled, but it's done far better than the euro. Now, this is a classic example of the strategy that I'm laying out here, using these predicted moving averages as pivot levels in the market. So this key pivot level are, are again, our T-cross long, 135.31. We can see on Thursday and Friday, we came it right up to that exact number of the vantage point T cross long and failed and sold off. Now we do have support forming down here, but it's it's not that strong. And the support I'm talking about is coming off the December 29th low. That number is 134.12. So keep an eye on 134.12 to begin the week. Our predicted differences are trying to rise higher, but they're they're stalling out again and it's starting to roll down. This could be just from that Fed comment that was made on Friday. But again, we're going to have further Fed comments coming out this week and a holiday short week. So this is a make or break week for the pound. If it cannot get back up above our T-cross long at 135.18, then we are likely to see further downside. So watch this level. That's the line in the sand. If you want to go long, or an additional strategy using the vantage point software is you can put your your buy limit orders just above the t cross long at 135.18 say 135.25 and once we clear that if we can even clear that you would then have a pretty easy run i would anticipate up to the up to the high of 136.05 but again first of all we must clear that t cross long now, the dollar yen, again, I suspect it could turn around back to the upside this week, providing gold contracts continue to move lower and equities move higher. The U.S. Swiss franc and the dollar yen is virtually the same trade here, guys, almost identical. So right now, our T-cross long, 113.83. We're closing out the week at about 113.97. So that's, that's our starting point for the week, the weekly opening price. If we're holding above, I'm going to round it out to 114, then longs are definitely going to be in play. But once again, we see that MA diff cross right there warning us that we are losing upside momentum. We're in a very tight channel here. We've hit a high this week 
all the way up to almost 115 and failed but here's the deal guys I've seen this before that would tell me that we failed just under 115 there could be exotic barrier options sitting at that 115 level and they're being they're protecting the 115 level if that's the case then like a moth to a flame this thing is going to go back up there until they knock that option out I'm not saying there is one there but I suspect that there is so again watch your gold contracts even if the dollar sells off against some of the other currencies it could still continue to make gains against the Swiss franc and the Japanese yen but that signal is warning us that initially out of the gate the dollar is going to come under a little bit of pressure now with the US Canadian pair going into next week very popular uh, pair to trade just be careful with this one uh, again if equities and and oil recover then the CAD is going to strengthen, pushing this back down. Our yearly opening price on the U.S.-Canada pair coming in at about 127.19. So still tech, there's still technically a short while below that level because it's still bearish on the year. But our T-cross long coming in at 125.07, we have had rock solid buying off the T-cross long and the long predicted at 125.12. The better part of this week, you can see that every single day. We're, we're in contact with this blue line virtually every day. We're using that blue line as a pivot level to buy from because the indicators in Vantage Point are saying our neural index is a solid green all week here. But as soon as that neural index turns red and we start failing just below 127.20, that would be a prime opportunity for an upcoming short going into probably, I would, I would guesstimate, around Wednesday. Now, Aussie US and New Zealand US, again, taking a real beating this past week, but we are coming into some verified support zones. That low is 71.70. I anticipate we could have some kind of a bounce here. But as you can see, we've got our MA diff crossing here, warning us that we're losing downward momentum, but we need the neural index turning from red to green. If we turn green, then it's it's telling us that's the signal we're looking for that we're finding a bottom so keep try and match for next week the low of 7170 to a neural index that goes from red to green but if we don't get that neural index on board then be very very cautious we could have further downside the same thing would apply to new zealand going into next week good strong support coming down here at the low of 69.11 an additional very strong support at 68.66 but if we can get that neural index turning around we also have an ma diff cross to the upside here too down off this low around 69.97 so if we can if we can get moving on this thing i i would say that the aussie and the new zealand have a chance for a corrective move higher if the dollar comes under selling pressure with that seasonality. So we do have a very busy week, a holiday short week and a volatile week coming up, but there will be an underlying trend if we identify these key pivot levels from vantage point, combine them with our MA diff cross, and of course that very powerful neural index. So with that said, this is the Vantage Point AI Market Outlook for the week of November the 22nd, 2021.